Hi everybody, welcome to the Rick Wesley Show. I'm DJ Foster, joined by Grand Valley State head men's basketball coach, Rick Wesley. Coach, thanks for joining us this week. Nice to be here. Another good week for you. Another good uh, two home victories. Uh, put you at 5-0 and at home this year. You're now 7-1 and overall, 4-0 and in GLIAC play. Only one of two uh, undefeated GLIAC teams as of today. Uh, let's start with the, the Tiffin win on Thursday, a 66-52 win over the Dragons. Uh, you had five guys, including four of your starters, get to double figures. Uh, Christer Zadax led the way with 12 points and six rebounds. Tony Peters came off the bench and played well with 11 points. And uh, you owned the paint, a 34-10 to 10 edge in points in the paint. A good uh, home victory start the weekend for you. Well, it was. Uh, we're coming off a good road trip to Ohio, so it was super important that we come back home, keep the momentum going. Uh, Tiffin had come off a very good win uh, over Saginaw Valley, beat them by, I think, 20 at, uh, at Tiffin. So I think they had a little momentum coming in here. Uh, they did a good job. They're a much different uh, team this year than they have been in the past. Uh, not quite uh, as athletic, but I think uh, more uh, basketball players versus just raw athletes. So they were able to do a lot more things. They really changed their defense as well, uh, kept us off balance a little bit, and uh, it made for an entertaining game. It took us a while to uh, pull away. Well, how Dominican came in on Saturday, uh, and you ended up with a 67-58 win. They kept it close. Uh, late in the game, he had a 9 nothing run that kind of opened up uh, the floodgates for you. Uh, Breland Hogan had 16 points in, in maybe his best game mm -hmm. of the year. Ryan Saban with 15. Tyrone Lee had 13.7 rebounds. Uh, and he held Ohio Dominican to under 40% shooting from the field. So, again, your defense kind of, uh, you know, played well enough to get the win, and you scored enough points, certainly down the stretch, uh, made some big, big plays. In the final few minutes. Surprising, our, our stats were as good as they were because I didn't think we played as well defensively in this game. Uh, you know, we, we really let their uh, key player, their point guard Jones, mm -hmm. uh, he really had a, a big night against us. He had 24 points, and uh, and that wasn't unexpected. I mean, clearly he's their best player, and I didn't think we had the focus um, uh, that we needed to in that in that game. And he really was able to kind of keep him in the game with his uh, scoring along with his. Uh, ball handling ability. So, uh, you know, we kept grinding away. Unfortunately, we did have a little bit of a run there in the second half uh, that we, we was able to get us uh, get, get us the victory. But overall, I don't think we played nearly as well uh, as we have been. And, and uh, uh, as we head into road play this coming week, we, we certainly got to play a little bit better than that. So it's six wins in a row for you. Uh, you're like I said, you're five and zero at home. And you head out on the road this weekend. Um, I hate to almost ask this question now that you talk about the defense, but you're fourth in Division II uh, in points per game given up uh, at just 55.6 points per game, uh, and that certainly has you know, helped you get out to this, this fast start this season. Well, that's good. We, you know, I'd like to shut them out if we could. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be my goal. I don't like it when they ever score, but uh, you know, we have a good group of guys this year. I, I think our, uh, our effort and our energy is pretty good. I think we've got to continue to work on our technique and recognizing uh, you know, different situations, what kind of screens we're involved in, um, you know, got to help the helper, so to speak. When one guy helps, the next guy over has got to be in tune with what's going on. So we've got a long ways to go, but overall, I think our, our effort is pretty good. You know, I always say to be a good defensive team, uh, you don't necessarily as an individual need to be great, but you need to have five guys out on the floor at all times who are just trying real hard. And if you get five guys trying real hard, every possession, then that can turn into a, a really great defensive team. And, uh, and for the most part, I think we've got guys giving good, solid effort uh, as we continue to try to work on improving our technique. You go on the road this weekend, Coach, for one of your toughest road trips of the season, no doubt about it. Uh, you're at Hillsdale this Saturday at 6 p.m., uh, and then you go to Finley on Monday night, kind of a different schedule for you this week. Normally it's a Thursday, Saturday doubleheader, but uh, both games at 6 o'clock, Saturday, Monday, uh, and both teams, Hillsdale and Finley, 3-1 and one this season in Gleak play. They're off to quick starts, and the venues, not to mention the teams, are, are always tough to play at. Yeah, I mean, you, you knew from uh, the time the schedule came out that this was going to be a, a very tough week for us. Uh, exams this week, throws us off schedule. Uh, guys are a little mentally fuzzy, if you will, because they've got other things on their mind more important than basketball. So our, our preparation will be uh, uh, certainly affected this week and, and then to have to go on the road and to play two of the very best teams in the conference back to back, uh, it's really gonna be a challenge. Hillsdale uh, is a team, they lost some good players last year, but they've kind of reloaded, they've come back, they've got some uh, veteran guys who have really helped set the pace. Uh, they do a variety of things offensively that are difficult to guard. 
Uh, they're a very underrated defensive team, I think. I think they're one of the stronger defensive teams in our conference. They, they really protect the basket area well, hard to get easy shots. Um, so it, it's, it's a tough, tough uh, road game at a tough time of the year. And then to have to follow that up with going to Finley, who uh, traditionally uh, has been the toughest team to beat on the road in our conference, um, just you know doubles our burden. And mm -hmm. so we, we've got our work cut out for us. Hopefully we'll get through uh, exams. Most all the guys are done by Wednesday evening, and uh, their minds should be clear then. Uh, and then we'll have a good good practice Wednesday night, and then we have Thursday and Friday as well to get ready. So um, big trip for us. Uh, hopefully we can come through it unscathed. We'd love to go into Thanksgiving or excuse me Christmas break uh, feeling good about things, but uh, it's certainly not going to be easy. Grand Valley State uh, men's basketball team with six wins in a row. They're seven and one overall, and again four and zero in Gleak play with a big road trip up this weekend. Coach, good luck this weekend on the road trip, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching the Rick Wesley Show here on the Grand Valley Sports Network.